the enzyme ACE2, the angiotensin converting enzyme 2, is the receptor for coronavirus. Its major function in human physiology is in the renin angiotensin system. And since this is good background, but also this is dysregulated in coronavirus patients, it perhaps is worth some review. ACE was the original enzyme uh, discovered, the angiotensin-converting enzyme. ACE2 was discovered in the year 2000 and is 40% homologous. So they are similar, um, but they do have different functions, and coronavirus uh, can enter cells by interacting with ACE2, but not with ACE. ACE is not a receptor for coronavirus. ACE is part of the renin-angiotensin uh, system, which is the main way of regulating blood pressure in the body. When the kidneys detect that there is not enough blood pressure to make significant amounts of urine, the hormone renin is released. Renin then acts on angiotensinogen, which is a protein made in the liver, to produce angiotensin-1. Angiotensin 1 circulates in plasma until reaching the lungs, where the endothelia of the lungs uh, produce ACE, the angiotensin converting enzyme, which uh, is a protease uh, which converts angiotensin 1 into angiotensin 2. Angiotensin 2 then uh, promotes vasoconstriction where smooth muscle around uh, blood vessels constricts. This will raise blood pressure. It also has other roles, such as um, promoting uh, cell growth, both hypertrophy and hyperplasia, uh, and uh, being pro-inflammatory. Obviously, in homeostatic pathways, there must be a balance. And so in addition to the ability to increase blood pressure, by causing vasoconstriction, there must then be the ability to lower blood pressure by causing vasodilation. And the angiotensin-converting enzyme 2, ACE2, then takes angiotensin 2 and converts it into angiotensin 1-7. It can also take angiotensin 1 um, and convert it into uh, another form which can be converted into angiotensin 1-7. Angiotensin 1-7 promotes vasodilation, which lowers blood pressure. It is anti-inflammatory, and it reduces cell proliferation. And so, angiotensin-converting enzyme 2 is a carboxypeptidase. It will take the 8-amino acid peptide, angiotensin 2, and break off the terminal phenylalanine to convert it into angiotensin 1-7, which promotes um, vasodilation, and an excess phenylalanine. 